Hey there, watch fans, it's Frank with Frankly On Time, and today we're going to be checking out the new Timex T300 Plus. We're going to be going through just the basic features of this watch and look out for a future video when we look into it a little more in depth on how to do the lap timer, the split timer, and so on. Now, as you can see here, this is a fairly large watch. It does wear, I'd say, fairly large on my 6.9 inch wrist. I have about a medium sized wrist, I would say. But what I really like about it is it is very easy to tell the time on this. You can see not only is it as a larger face watch, it also tells the time uh, in very large digits right there on the screen. And you can see all the information very clearly with the time, day of week, and the date. So I really love the sizing of this watch. It's not too much. It does wear uh, on the wrist without overhanging it on my 6.9 inch wrist. If you have fairly small wrist, smaller than my wrist, then it may be a little bit large for you and you might want to kind of test it out first just to see how it wears, but I am very comfortable with it. Now the strap is also really nice. It's a resin strap with a little, I believe, a what is a plastic little hinge here. And you can see here it has this little extra clasp to hold in the very end of the strap however you want to adjust it. Now that you've seen how it wears, I'm going to take it off and go through the basic features of this watch. Before we get into the basic features of this watch, this does have removable straps. So these are not built in. They've got these little, uh, they have these little quick adjusts. You can just pull on the little ball there and remove these straps. So this might be an interesting piece to try to dress up a little bit, put a leather strap on, something kind of sporty, maybe a cloth or fabric strap. Going through the basic functions of the watch, this is a very simple watch to use. You do have to look up the instruction manual online for the Timex T300 Plus. It does not come with it straight out of the box. Now what's really cool about this model over the T300 without the Plus on it is that it has some casual athletic features built in. They have a step counter, calories burned, and so on. So all you're gonna do here is you're gonna hit this main button on the right side, and that's gonna take you to activity. You're gonna hit it again. And now you can see we've got steps here. We have miles and we have calories burned. So if you're out to uh, Disney World or a theme park or something, or you're just doing a little bit of traveling, doing a little bit of hiking or something like that, and you're not gonna be in the gym, but you still wanna kind of see some basic uh, fitness milestones you might have accomplished for that day, you can easily do that. By the way, if you're enjoying the video, you find it useful, make sure you hit that like button. Now let's continue on. So here are the other features you can do with this watch. So again, we're gonna just hit that main menu button there to take us to uh, where it says activity, but instead of pushing it again to select activity and run through calories, steps, walked, and that sort of thing, we're just gonna hit down. You can see we have a chronograph function here where we can do basically a stopwatch function we have a review mode for reviewing our workouts and that comes from the chronograph and I believe also the intervals. You can actually save your times from those functions and then review them on this mode. You have timers, two saved timers that you can customize and use from this setting here. Alarms. Now here you actually have five alarms, which is really, really handy because I have a alarm that will go off for when it's time to make sure to leave to pick up my son from school. And then I have an alarm for uh, when I wake up in the morning and I can have both of those set. And if I come up with some other alarms I might need, you can also set those and you can choose whether to have your alarm go off on weekdays or weekends or specific days of the week. So that is very handy. And then you have your menu option. I'm gonna hit the back button here, bottom left, to go back to our time. If you wanna change your format of the time, all you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the top right button from the time display until you hear a little beep. And now you can select what kind of format you wanna use for telling the time. I like this one right here. The top left is gonna give you a glow, which does light up really, really well. Let's turn off the lights and check that out. Here's the end of glow function. That is a really, really nice glow. It also has a night mode, and what you have to do is you have to hold it. You hear that beep, and now any button you push will light up the light there when you do your end of glow. So that is great for at nighttime. Now I saw on some other watches 
from the Timex uh, Iron Man series. They actually will have a little uh, moon symbol pop up when it is in night mode. This one does not have it, so it's almost like a secret night mode, but it's the same feature. All you got to do is hold the Indiglo to turn it on or off, just so. And that's going to do it for this video. All I want to do is show off the watch basic features. So we've looked at the strap, we've talked a little bit about the watch and the basic functions it has. Stay tuned for a future video where I am actually going to go through the chronograph function, the intervals, and the timers and alarm. Uh, go through the setup and look at some of those modes and menus more in depth. So look out for that and I will see you there.